Uh, we know these things as the averages, meaning there's three averages. Okay? The first average is something that we already know and love, the mean. Okay? So we'll talk about that first one, each one. Um, the mean of data. We're going to use this symbol, an X with a line on top, and technically what that is, is it's the sample mean, okay? This is a sample mean. If we use or determine a population mean, well then the symbol is this mu. It's a U with a long tooth. This is mu, M-U, okay? But fine. Do you guys remember how to compute a mean? Do you guys ever remember this stuff? Do you guys remember how to do that? What's a mean? How did you compute your like average test score, your mean test score? It's really what it is. You add them all up, right? And then you what? You add up x. X is an arbitrary data score. This is a data value. Add them up, divide by what? N, the sample size. If you're talking about a population mean, well then mu would be, again, the sum of all the data values now divided by capital N. Remember, capital N was the, the population size, right? The total number in the population. Little n is the total in your sample. Another tattoo, okay? Another tattoo. All right, here we go. Incidentally, since we were talking about nutrition, how many people here eat tortillas with every meal? Oh, it is so bad for you. Do you guys know how bad? Yes. Yes, I, one night, could we put it on pause, Eddie? Uh, no, we can record it. It's pause. One night, I have a bad ha I used to have a bad habit because I would always eat tortillas with everything, right? Instead of using a fork, what do you use? Tortillas. Like, what the hell are you going to use a fork? Don't even give me a fork. Just heat up how many tortillas? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to four tortillas on a good day. Give me my four tortillas. You know how many calories are in one tortilla? How many? 180. But it probably depends on the tortilla. Yeah, flour. You get flour. 180 per tortilla. So if you said, give me three because you're taking it easy, <laughs> how many? That's 540 calories, 2,000 calories. If you take 2,000 calories in a day, if that's, that's the typical daily allowance of calories that you're supposed to take, that's about a fourth of your calories just in tortillas. You might as well just use the fork, <laughs> right? You read out how many calories. Imagine if you do that every day. Oh, don't even go there. <laughs> don't, e don't get me started. I got, I'm so obsessed now with looking at the labels and everything. Oh, it's out, I'm out of control. I can't. I am, I'm bad. I'm bad. Shh, but don't tell anybody. I, I, I've lost 20 pounds since Christmas. This is what Eddie says about the um, tamales. Christmas Day. I have a tamale. My aunt says, oh, here. And my uncle goes, why don't you weigh yourself? Go ahead. So I weighed my son as weigher. Oh, my God. I'm not going to tell you what it said. I said. Oh, my God. This can't be right. It's not right. I used to weigh this not too long ago. So I said, forget it. I only had one tamale, and that was it. So this is goodbye to a New Year's resolution. Eat well. Eat at home. Change it all, right? Don't go out and eat McDonald's or Burger King or just eat it, eat at home, eat, cook your food, eat good stuff. So since you've been doing that, 20 pounds. No tortillas. No tortillas. Think about that. Every time you eat a tortilla, 180 pounds. I'm sorry, 180 calories. 180 calories. You got five because you don't want to use a fork? Because you got a bad habit like me? You eat five of them? Ooh, 
That's, that's like that's half your daily calories just in that one meal because you don't want to use a fork. <sighs> yeah, supposedly you get the wheat. Whole, grain, whole grains are really good for you, right? Um, there's even research I just read. It has to do with statistics. I, I was thinking of bringing it in. Um, people who actually eat um, whole grains. Well, let me put it this way. You ever see people who I see them actually? They're so, I don't know how to put it. It's not that they're so skinny. They have a lot of muscle and no fat. Do you ever see their, like, their waistline is really what? There's no fat there. There's not like a little pouch or a bulge or nothing. You know, it's kind of all what? Perfect. Okay, so I see a lot of these guys all the time. Nothing, no fat. And I was talking to a doctor, and we were talking about it. I go, man, how do you? So, oh, the doctor says, it's easy. You know, he goes, you're going to have to give up. Um, can't have any beef. There's a lot of foods that just doesn't matter. You can't have. Eat a lot of fish, a lot of fish, a little bit of protein, you know, no salt. And then that's kind of, that's, that's how they look. Do you guys know that? Anybody ever see that? Eddie, you know what I'm talking about, right? So you can't, you can have a lot of fish. And then, then it'll, you'll be perfect. No beef, some chicken, broccoli. No? You should see some of these guys. Some of these guys are just like, Jesus Christ. It's not steroids. I don't think they're on steroids. Yeah. Very good eating habits. No soda. Where's the soda? Anybody have soda? Good. Nobody has soda. Why is soda bad for you? Uh, it's not just the sugar. No, I mean, not just the caffeine. It, it makes your bones brittle. You know that? It, and as you get older, that's sort of bad because if you break a hip or something, you break a leg or whatever, so it brittles your bones. Even milk. You know milk is not for you. Milk's good for you. <laughs> but as you get older, milk is what? I love milk. Milk's, milk's bad for you. If you're going to drink milk, Drink non-fat or what? At the very least, 1%. But you know milk's bad for you as well? Why is milk bad? Anybody know about this? It's not just the, obviously, like the, like the bleach they use to make it wide. And it, it's not just that. It's, um, the, see, you, you don't need milk as you get older. Right? When you're younger, you drink a lot of milk. But as you get older, what happens? We know why it's bad? I have to ask Dr. Stewart again. He goes, don't drink milk. Calcium. You get calcium from other products like um, cheese, yogurt. Um, you don't get it from like a big glass of milk. I mean, I have, I'll have a bowl of cereal, so I'll use 1%. But, you know, I can't get, you can't get away. I, mean, I won't be able to away from milk. But drink soy milk. Anybody like that? You drink soy milk? Very good for you. A lot of protein. No. The granola, that Quaker stuff. No. Huh? That Quaker, yeah, that was a whole grain granola. Good for you. Ah, who cares? Yeah.